We are done with Onomichi. Last night was uneventful because after climbing and climbing and climbing, I'm just like, I'm so cooked. I've been eating pastries like all morning, basically. This one's a lotus fruit pastry. I haven't tried yet, but it's probably good. Everything from this place has been so good. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I think probably four or five pastries in the morning is a lot. I just, I'm just starving, you know, like that was just so much walking. There's been so much walking. And it got kind of hot yesterday afternoon, so I'm glad I went early. We've packed up. We're pretty much ready to go. We got to head to Fukuoka today. And then we're in Fukuoka actually for three days. We've only been, we are in Nagoya for two days. We were here for two days. Onomichi, I was like really hype about because I just knew about the temple walk and all that. So, um, it was really fun. It was really, it's been really brutal. My legs are just like, again, just straight up cooked, <laughs> but um, it's good for you, I guess. Um, you would think that I'd probably like lose some weight doing that, but I don't, I don't think so. Not with, not with the amount of pastries I'm eating. I, I, I would highly doubt it, but that's okay. At least we're not just sitting around eating pastries. We're really lucky yesterday because it was like nice and sunny and like really perfect day because for the next three days here and the next three days in Fukuoka, it's supposed to rain. I like the rain. It's no big deal. It just makes some things harder, but that's, you know, whatever, dude. Some people pray for rain, and then some people pray it'll stop raining, like in North Carolina. That shit's crazy. I used to live in Asheville. It's wild to see all that going on. Just a little update. and like, hey, this is where we're going, but we are headed back on a train to Fukuoka. Fukuoka's a really big food city, so we're going to find all kinds of good shit to eat. Keep it going, keep it rocking in the free world. sure we got like two hours before we can check in to the hotel so our stuff is in a locker uh just so happens to be that there's a shrine down the street from the subway stop the subway stop is actually the kushida shrine subway station so we're gonna go check out the shrine walk back and then hopefully it'll be close to time to check in Thank you. 
19th floor. Oh, I got a nice lounge chair here, about that. Definitely right, and these are looking their umbrellas out. I got an umbrella with me. I hate using an umbrella. But anyway, so, I was, oh, look at the birds. Uh, damn, crows everywhere. So I went to that temple. That was really cool. I mean, it's really interesting to see the difference between, there are so many birds. Like these, the old shrines and temples we saw yesterday that have been there like forever and rebuilt like forever ago. And this one looks pretty modern. I mean, I don't, I don't really know when it was built. You, you, you just tell it's like in the middle of a, of a bustling city instead of like up on a mountainside. So it's pretty cool to see the contrast there. It was a lot busier as well. Like I don't think I ran into, I ran into like one other tourist yesterday and today. Like this is uh, Fukuoka's death. The birds, dog. I don't know if y'all can see these birds. <laughs> they just keep flying by in like groups of six. Fukuoka is definitely more like a new, like a, a an alive city. It's a lot more like Tokyo, just less busy so far. I mean, we've only been here for a couple of hours. After I left the temple, I just started walking and I ran into like a shopping area, of course, because Japan loves its little shopping areas. But man, I walked down to the end of it, and at the very end, there was like four massage places. I was like, dude. And I had signs outside, like, we'll massage your legs and feet. And I was like, dude, I gotta, I gotta do it. My legs are killing me. A nice 60 minute leg and foot massage. I feel a lot better. Like, honestly, like yesterday, I felt like my legs were gonna fall off. I couldn't even feel my calves. My calves feel like they had like sandbags in them. And I gotta do research. I don't even know what I'm doing doing here there's some day trips i could take to places like beppu and these other spots but i don't know we'll just we'll have to see we'll have to see where it leads I mean, no plan really so far this has been exhausting so i may i may uh take it somewhat easy as far as trips i've been trying i've been doing a lot of traveling so very rainy morning here in fukuoka well last night it just was like raining dog i went and walked around at my hotel, kind of, which is <clears throat> in a very main area. Oh, they gave me a little, these guys. There's Nakasu, and there's like Tenjin and Hakata. We're, yeah, we're in the Nakasu area. There are things that I knew coming into Fukuoka that were bumming me out. I like my temples, obviously. And there's the, Nen I'm not going to say this right, but the Nanzuin, Nanzuin, Nanzoin, I don't know. Nanzuan, let's go with Nanzuan Temple. The Nanzuan Temple, which has like the largest reclining Buddha in the world, I believe. All kinds of cool stuff there. A really, probably like the coolest, out of all the temples we've been to, this one's probably the coolest. It's got a gigantic the Lucky Cat statue. It's got really sick Fudo Miu statue. Just, it looks really incredible. The issue is, is out of all of the shrines and temples that I've been to, there's I've never ever encountered a problem and this one has a strict no tattoo policy and uh you you have to, it's like a place of worship it's not a, it's not a tourist attraction so this one is very specific and they do not they don't jack they don't jack with it there's not much you can do i mean they offer like cloths that you can like cover yourself with and i don't think i mean it is raining so i guess i could if i put on a rain jacket and put my hood up i could make that work and if i went and got some gloves I could cover my hand, but I, I guess I kind of feel like if I if I go through all that effort, I might still not be able to get in because it's just like, hey, I don't know if I could find gloves that fit. And B, that means I have to keep the hood up on my jacket the whole time I'm there and gloves on, and it's not cool out. Even though it's raining, it's still pretty humid. So I'm a little bummed, you know. I mean, I, it's whatever. Like I'm not gonna get into like how I truly feel about. You know, all I'm going to say is Buddha didn't give a fuck about no tattoos, you know. So, I find the whole thing to be a little ridiculous. That being said, it is what it is. You know, like, people can make up. And they do whatever rules they want for this world. There's many places in this world where there's a lot of things I don't agree with. I'm a little bummed out. I knew this coming into the, to the trip that I wasn't really going to be able to see this place. But when I got here, I was like, man, it's like right down the street. Like, I, I would like to see it. But I can't. Most likely we will not be checking that out unless I can figure out some sort of workaround. There's a lot of shopping as well. Um, I'm not real big into shopping these days. I don't really go buy stuff. For whatever reason, walking around those areas is fun. I usually just find food that I want to eat. It just becomes about eating food for me. I don't know. It's supposed to rain like all day. So I may end up going to this one spot, Canal City, which is literally right around the corner. It's an indoor shopping area that seems 
at least fun, you know, at least interesting to do. It's hard not to focus on the fact that I want to go to this reclining Buddha temple, but can't spend all day being upset about it. So uh, that's for sure. So that first rotating sushi bar we went to back in uh, East Onomichi, it was so funny because it was like all the reviews were like, it's so slow, it's so slow. And it was really slow, uh, especially in comparison because last night I went to one here that was like way more modern, like touch screen at the desk that shot your food right to you. In Onomichi, they brought it to you by hand. It was much more like less techy. Sushi was better in Onomichi like by far it was like really and more expensive but last night i didn't film any of this because i just didn't it's i needed a break it was crazy like i walked i mean it was a sunday night but it was so busy i mean i got a reserve i had to get a reservation it says it's gonna be an hour to get seated it did not take an hour it took like maybe 20 minutes which was great sometimes being a solo traveler really works it out for you bro that shit was lightning fast i mean you would order a piece of sushi on the screen and it would show up within a minute top so that i understand now how people are like this one's slow the other one's very slow compared to like the modern uh conveyor belt sushi and this one you could also grab shit off the conveyor belt but i really didn't do that i just ordered and i ordered so much dude i had like 21 plates of sushi some of those plates had two pieces some of them had one i mean dude i ate so much sushi last night it was ridiculous and i was like man i'm kind of going overboard this is going to be expensive it was 40 bucks i couldn't believe it when i when the bill came i was like dude 40 bucks for all of this but uh yeah so i'm gonna gather my thoughts and Wait for, I don't know, hopefully the sun to poke out a little bit. It looks pretty gross out today, so we may end up staying indoors a lot of today and finding indoor activities to do. All right, look, so here's how I put my rain jacket like this. <laughs> if, I go get some, if I go get some gloves, cover these up. I'm actually thought about bringing some gloves. It's funny that I didn't grab them, but there's a unique low down the street. I mean, you can't tell I got tats like this. They're covered. What was I gonna say? You know what I'm saying? Doing my best. I'd really like to see the place. I may even just venture out and just see if I get rejected. It's better than just hanging out in a shopping mall all day. Yeah, we will We will see. Can't see no tats. They're covered. They're covered. You know what I mean? Gloves. Covered. they be covered. Okay, we are at Canal City. Because uh, it's indoors. It is... It's not pouring at the moment. But uh, it has been... It's been raining a lot. Like, can't keep the cameras out. Raining. It's just so bad. We're gonna look around Canal City. It opens in like 10 minutes. We're gonna look around, see if we can find some gloves. This place is huge. Um, so I'd imagine there's some gloves inside. That's the plan right now. And I'll check back in with you when things facilitate themselves. ramen stadium so you can literally get every kind of ramen that there is in one spot it's pretty sick and nothing's open yet but all the ramen right there you can try them all so uh somehow the north face had these basically like they're basically like little bags for gloves they're way too expensive but they had an extra large uh, it's not an extra large American size, but it's an extra large. These will work, and they're thin, so it won't get too hot in there. So that's, we're one step closer. I think I'm gonna get some ramen, and then head the fuck out there and see if we can get in.
So we got in. Uh, this place is incredible. Of course, the Buddha is being cleaned when I come. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's okay. There's plenty of really awesome stuff here. So I'm glad I went through the effort to make it happen.